Here's some high cash codes for my collectors out there who's still interested in getting anything from High Topic. High cash does end tomorrow, which is July the 17th. In this video here, I'm going to be showing you all bags inside of two different box lunch locations as well as two different High Topic locations. Now, before I get into showing you all that, one of my sweet willers asked if I can post where they can actually buy lounge flies from. For those of you all who do not know, you can actually pause this screen and you can see the small shops. Also, you have other places like Barnes & Noble, High Topic, Box Lunch, Books of a Million. If it's anything that I did not mention or you don't see on, on the list, please put it down below in the comment section. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let me show you all these brand new bags inside of these stores. This here will be box lunch number one. Now, I went to the store yesterday, which was July the 15th, because I needed to go to the Lego store inside of the mall. You know, they had, if you spend $130 in Harry Potter Lego, you get two gift for purchases. So, I wanted to get those. So, I got that. And I went over to box lunch. Now, this here is a really nice Tiana backpack. The only reason why I didn't get this bag, because let me tell you something. Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Growing up in New Orleans, we will love her some beignets. That's when them jokers used to be like three for a dollar and what, eight a dollar and 30 cent that was back in the day day i'm sure they probably hide now but i'm not big of a fan of tiana's face on it but you know what i might change my not my mind but that's our universe bag here's another bag that i have been seeing my stores post but i haven't seen it yet so this is this will be my first time i really like the details on this bag they did a really good job don't look that joke in the eyes look at the eyes the eyes ain't nothing to play with and this is Attack on Titan down below. Yeah, this is a really nice, well-detailed bag. Overall, I really like this bag. I wish I was familiar with this particular show, but Sweet Wheels, listen, I ain't up to date on my anime at all. The back of the bag is what I really like. I love the wall look. They did a really good job with this particular bag. Let me give you all a close-up look at the tag so you all can see. Okay, and it's by BioWorld. I'm telling y'all, the mother companies ain't playing. I was really happy that this particular box lunch had all three of the brand new minion bags available i'm gonna show you i'm gonna start off by showing you all this one first you see that plate that's a really nice plate minions and i like the colors on this bag this bag here is kind of like in the middle it's not too big not too small just right you see we have the side i think that's a side pocket yeah i think so let me turn around on the back okay okay i like these scraps a little bit different not something that sweet wheels would normally go for but i really like the back straps on here and let me show you the tag you see this is by mad engine i see your boy giving us that look like you want it you know you want it bag number two now this here is a very interesting bag i'll give you all my opinion once i show all three of the bags i noticed that that top part you know where the eye part is at those characters are totally different on the other bag so this might be a placement bag when it comes to that but this here is cool this here is my favorite part on the bag and let me show you all how some of the characters look when i turn it to the side yeah this is a really really fun nice bag how many y'all went to go see the movie tell me what you think about the movie was it funny was it better than the other ones or how would you rate the movies in order here we have the back of the bag love the scraps okay i see it I see Mad Engine. They ain't playing with it. Here's another closer look at the characters if you didn't see it on the side. Mad Engine wants some of that money. Now down to the final bag. We have the tie-dye minion bags. Now if this bag don't bring me back all the way to the 90s and got me thinking about New Orleans. I remember going to... I remember going to my grandmother's house in the sixth ward. There was a party and everybody had on tie dye. I mean, I didn't have nothing on because you know, I was broke. Couldn't afford all that. Like the plate on the side. But this bag here, yeah, it just... This bag just brings back so many memories of growing up in New Orleans in the 90s. And I miss it so much. I see the backpack is the outfit in tie-dye. I wonder if they're going to make a shirt. Here's the back of the bag. Yeah, oh, yeah. it would be nice if they actually did a shirt like this. I believe that would do quite well, Mad Engine or somebody. Box lunch. I don't care who make it. Just bring us a tie-dye shirt. Put so. all three bags together. You all comment down below and tell me how you would rate these three bags. Now let's move on to box lunch number two. I was all in on this bag until I saw it in person. I was like, you know what? It's a cool bag, but now nah, it's just not for me. And that's how I am sometimes. But here we have inside and out, inside and out. I mean, inside out. <laughs> and we got the little city right there. Oh my goodness, on the table. And if you missed it, you can see it right here where they have the zipper. Yeah, it has a front pocket in the front. Let me turn it around the back so you all can see it. This is a really cool bag, but that handle is another thing I'm not a big fan of. Love the quote on the back. Every day is full of emotions, which is very, very true. Because I'm getting really emotional with all these bag releases, Lounge Fly. 
bank don't even call me no more because they know it's me spending money. On to the next bag, we have this Ratatouille crossbody. Now, I was supposed to get this for box lunch money, but, you know, there's so much going on. I say, you know what, if you stick around to next box lunch money, I'll be adding this bag to my collection. And here we have the bag. Yeah, okay, I like that little pocket in the bag. You could just slip some receipts in there. Minor decor, but you know what? It gets the job done. See, I like stuff like that. Pixar, our universe. I'll see you next, Box Lunch Money. Hey. We have this Finding Nemo Clue board game. I've never played this game before. I might need to get it. And let me tell you all about Lotso. Be very careful when unbuttoning this joker because those buttons are very fragile. Another item that was on my wish list and I did not get. I'm telling you, I was just so much going on. I had to be very careful on what I get. But, you know, next Box Lunch Money just might make the cut depending on what else come out. I almost slipped up and brought a pack of noodles yesterday i'm telling you i was this close and i love adding eggs and mine the other two items nah i pass on that but them noodles and egg that'll do the job they'll get it done what i'm hoping to start doing is start watching some of these animes so i can be familiar with the characters because i have no clue who this is and i'm tired of being corrected in the comment section now nah, i don't have a problem with y'all correcting me correct me if i'm wrong i have no problem with that but i want to be very familiar so when i see them, i know what's going on and i can have more to add to it than just saying oh this is anime we got a Jack Skeleton hoodie, and behind that is Sally. I just saw that myself watching the video. And we have a brand new Our Universe Disney Winnie the Pooh crossbody. And this here is, is similar, somewhat similar to the red one. But in the red one, they don't have that front pocket on that joke, okay? In the back, I see you can actually slide the scrap in, and you can make it like a fanny pack, okay? Do we have a two-in-one in Our Universe? I think we do. Here are some mugs. They didn't have too many brand new mugs, but they had these Winnie the Pooh ones, along with these socks. Shot. I don't know. I, you know what? Let's move on. Here we have <laughs> these glasses that I want to get so bad. I actually use my glassware, but my mugware, I don't, I don't, I mean, I rarely use that. Next to that, we have a Snow White kitchen set. I might need to cop one of these kitchen sets because that up one, I didn't wore that joker out. I mean, it, it's time for something new. I'm just tired of seeing it at this point. I'm just going to wash it up and just put it to the side. If Disney and Box Lunch don't get together and change up this Tiana stuff, I'm tired of seeing Tiana's palace with the same thing, the same look, and the same quote. We didn't have enough of it. We want something new. You all going to have to brace yourself with me when it comes to showing you all the inside of this bag. This bag was very difficult trying to show you all the inside. I even had to get help from another collector that was in the store. One of the males that actually helped me. I mean, I had to ask for it. I was like, excuse me, sir. Would you mind holding these doors open so I can show my collectors the inside look? And I did thank that gentleman along with his friend because he was with somebody. So I was, I'm sure I was holding up both of their time. So thank them so much. Hopefully you all can see really good the inside decor. If I go back to the store and I take a look at it, which I should have done, I'll take pictures and put in the video so you, go, so you all can have a better look. Here we have this brand new under the sea bag from little mermaid i don't know where i was going with it but you saw i had to bring it back i'm like not today sweet will that's enough give these people a break i guess it's like the dun 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 it's like a musical scene they have judging from this bag i would say this is a no permanent unauthorized underground under the sea party that a lot of folks didn't know about where's my invitation i want one here's a close-up look of what's on the front pocket going to this store at the time which was kind of crazy because the store just opened and usually you know what this particular box lunch gets a lot of traffic early in the morning so it was just a whole lot going on you got folks actually coming to where i'm at because where the bags are stationed at right here the funko pops are right behind me so i'm constantly having to move and swift but you know it's all good i still was able to get the job done here we have the back of the bag it's very rare you see on the back of danielle nicole bags some type of design yeah, really cool nice to see flounder and the lady fish along with ariel over here with the seahorses seahorses are so cute to me i haven't seen a real seahorse in a long time though but i really like seahorses. they just really cute take y'all over to the anime side yeah they have it separated up in here a lot like disney and anime and then you got harry potter all that so here are some of the jerseys i like that pink one but i think that pink one is a little bit light which is okay just put a darker shirt up under it does any of my collectors watch this particular show because i know someone gonna tell me exactly what it is i mean i can see the name on it but like i mentioned before when i talked about anime i'm not too familiar with i do need to start getting into it because right now i'm just watching the same movie over and over what am i watching now 
Oh, yeah, it's Pink Panther 2. Once I get off that kick, maybe I'll start watching anime. But I've been saying that for the longest and haven't gotten into it yet. Here's the tag on this bag. And here's also a shirt. You see, we got Sailor Moon over there. I won't show too much of that. But I am going to show you that rice cooker that Ashley wanted. I hope you got your stuff, girl. Hey. This here is a bag that's actually on my wish list for next box lunch money. Looks so much better in person. I'm hoping you all can see the exact same thing I'm seeing, which is an awesome looking bag. You see, we have the double zipper on the side. Attached to it is a coin purse. I'm noticing a lot of companies, when it comes to certain bags, they're adding the coin purse. And out of all the coin purses I've seen attached to the bag, this one here has to be the best one. It makes sense to have this one. Oh my goodness, yeah. I might just get him. I normally don't collect these type of bags, but I just might get it. And look at the, oh my goodness, look at that tail on that joker. And here's the back of the bag. Now let me take you over to my first Hot Topic store. I am noticing that Hot Topic is getting a lot of bags in the store. A store that's close to me, they normally don't get that many Hot Topic bags at all. I mean, they would get like two or three if they got that many. Now you got a whole wall full of them jokers. I'm going to show you all that store next after this one. Here we have the brand new Robin Hood one. And let me go back to show you all that mushroom pin. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. The little froggy ribbon. Here is a bag that I have I had no clue about. And I see we have the characters along with their pets. It's nice to see the Aristocat lady. I can't think of her name right now, but it was really nice to see her actually on the bag. She's so cool. And we have a brand new villains bag next to that one. I see my girl Lady Tremaine in on there, but it's all good. That's probably a bag I don't need to get anyway. That's what I'm going to say every time I don't see what I want on the bag. That's my excuse for not getting it. And it's been working too. What about y'all? Y'all been using that excuse when the guy ain't got my favorite girl. I ain't getting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's working. Here's the second one. <laughs> See, this is what this is what I'm talking about. This store rarely got bags. We have a brand new Pokemon one with E. I'm telling y'all, my local hot topic, I didn't get bags. So to see them with a lot of bags brings me a lot of joy, which gives me more content to give to you all. And I ain't got to drive out far because I don't be driving nowhere lately. Look, I try to stay within the 15 minute or two to three mile radius if I could. I'm telling you, everything is right there. For me, that is. And here we have a brand new Kirby bag. Yeah, Kirby been pumping out a lot of stuff lately. I, I got my eyes on you. And now you're gone. I got my eyes on you. And them jokers strong, 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 strong. You know they say the folks that love to sing the ones that can't sing. I'm like a bathroom singer. You know when you taking a bath or you just in the bathroom and it's just like when you sing it, it's like echoing off the wall so you think you got it. I didn't took it to a whole nother level. I'm bringing it to my channel. Girl, slow down. No, don't slow down. Keep going. No, wait. Keep going. No, slow down. <laughs> This jack bag, I'm not sure if I showed you all before, but if not, here's the first look at this one. But I think I've seen this before. Yeah, I think I have. We got Winnie the Pooh behind that one. Here is a really nice bag here. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, when it comes to my collectors, how many of y'all actually collect bags from Hot Topic? I know I don't. It's very, very rare that I have. I get bags from them. I mean, I have a few. I would say under 10 personally that I have. But, you know, I know there are a lot of collectors who collect the, pl the metal play ones, also the high topic ones as well. Here are some bags up at the top. I'm going to try to zoom in so you all can see this one. This looks like a chocolate milk bag with a teddy bear. Now look at here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. That bag is beautiful next to it, okay? Show you all some of the blind bags that my store actually have. I'm hoping you all can see it really good. Now that I think about it, maybe I should have got up a little bit closer. Pause it if you need to do so. And I see they have some blind bags that ain't supposed to be in certain boxes, but it's all good. You know how people be feeling on a bag and just placing it there. Maybe they put it there so they don't get it mixed up with the other bags they're trying to fill for. We have some stitch here. I did not get any of these bags you all see right here. I think the one I wanted my store didn't have it all so I'm hoping maybe they'll have them very soon and I'll probably get some now these jokers here I went straight bananas getting these now I was actually able to get 11 out of 12 the only one I'm missing is hook I don't think I'll be able to do the villain boxes no more and try to complete them it was just too much going on and the last thing I'm going to show you all is these two brand new Harry Potter backpacks really nice to see this bag I see we have an all over placement print look with at the little pixies they are so cute I like them and they're really fun and hilarious see we have harry glasses right here and i like the harry potter play and down below we have the crest i'm gonna turn it so you all can see some of the characters actually on the back a lot that you didn't see just by me showing you the top of it 
Now, I got an idea. Maybe they should make one with a metal plate with all of the different characters on there, but make them look more realistic. I mean, this here is pretty cool, but the realistic one, I think I would be more interested in. All right, everyone. So, that'll do it for my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And like always, if you're watching this video and you had not subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe like share and comment on this video also hit that notification bell make sure you click on all so you'll be notified whenever i drop a video or a community post and until next time everyone take care